Welcome to DCVI Studios Online Tutorials. This is using links within your articles. You should already be logged in to your Joomla administrator area. This is the control panel. Yours should look very similar to this. I've already created an article and that's the one I'm going to use to edit. So I'm going to come to my article manager. And once here I'm going to use the search box. There's my article. I'm going to click on the title to open it up. And we're going to be adding some links. We're going to add three different kinds of links today, and I'm going to add them at the bottom of the article. The first one we're going to add is an external link. This is a link that points to a website other than our own, that points to content or other things external or outside of our own website. The second link we're going to use is an internal link. And this generally links to an article or a component or a module or some other internal functionality of the website. But generally, it links to an article. And the third kind of link that we're going to create is linking to an existing navigation item. This is your home menu, your contact us, or other uh, item that belongs to a menu inside of your website. And I'll explain each of these as we walk through them. So for our external link, this is real straightforward. We're going to highlight the text that we want to use as our link text. We're going to come up here to our editor. And we're going to find the one that looks like a chain link. And when we put our mouse over it, it reads insert edit link. Your link uh, may be in a different location in your editor, but you should have one. Let's select it and open that window. And because we know our uh, address of the website that we want to connect to, we're just going to type it in there. And there we have that. This second uh, line here is the text and this is the text that is being used for the link this can be changed if you so desire moving down towards the bottom of the page we have the anchors we're not using those so it's not applicable target this is important since we're pointing to a resource that's outside of our own website we want that resource to open in a new window so that when they are finished with it and they close that window our website is still visible. So we're going to use open in new window. And then we're going to give this an additional title. And this is uh, displayed when somebody puts their mouse or their cursor over the link and hold it there for a second. This is the text that will appear. This is always a good opportunity to use uh, a keyword or two which helps with your search engine optimization. And with all of that done, we're going to select Insert. And now, uh, here we have our new external link. And because uh, we're not going real fast, we're going to select Apply because we don't want to lose our changes. The second type of link that we're going to add is going directly to an article. So just as before, we highlight our text that we want to use as the link. We come up here and we locate our link icon. And we open up our link editor. And now we're going to use these link browser items. And we're going to use content. And I know that our article is in About Us. And it's under Latest. And there it is, my article. And I'm going to click on that. It adds the link for me. Here's my text that's being used as my link. We're not using any anchors. We do not need to do anything to the target. And we're going to add a title for the link that will be displayed when somebody places their mouse over it. We simply select Insert. And now we have uh, 
linked directly to an article. We're going to select Apply to save our work. And now for our third uh, link type from within our article, which is linking to a navigation item. Again, we highlight our text as needed. We locate our link manager. Now that we've opened it, we're going to use the link browser again, but this time we're going to select from menu. Here's a list of the menus that we have, and when you select the little plus sign, it'll expand that for you. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to link to our portfolio. Again, once we select it, the link is filled in for us. We can always change this text if we like. we do not need to use the anchors we do not need to change the target um, and we're going to use this title this helps us with keywords and helps provide information not only to a visitor who puts their mouse over it but uh, any visitor that may be using an assistive device uh, to overcompen uh, to compensate for an impairment such as being blind or um, having a difficulty with hearing. So we will select insert, and you notice that it, uh, when we changed the text, it changed our text here. It looks like a link, and it's going to point to a navigation item, which then will show all of the other different elements associated with that navigation item. And that is a linking, the three different kinds of linking from within an article. Uh, in summary, if you have any questions, please contact us. Thank you.